Yeah, so we wanted to talk about our 25th anniversary and how we both met and what kind of funny stories we uh, had together. So maybe we can just have a short chat. There was a technology company called Nanocosmos who said, you know, we have something interesting. But, you know, what, what I remembered of it was that timing was perfect. You know, what was the big, um, you know, development there? The big development was that we did TV on a PC. And what you as Nanocosmos was ad were adding as value to, you know, the proposition we had at that time was the capability of recording in software. And that was an interesting story for us as suddenly all kind of support calls came in from random people, end users, which didn't manage to run their PCs properly. So that was a funny time and a lot of uh, funny um, calls we got. So, but the exciting time was to have the technology and the innovation um, produced together. And that was really unique in that time based on MPEG-1 actually video CD format, standard SD, and do a live recording because no digital cameras were available, so everything needed to be captured. We touched base again. And, you know, um, I remember, you know, as the day of yesterday that I got either a call or an email where you said, hey, Chris, um, are you going to Hanover Seabit, you know, and uh, w w would it be possible for us to uh, to meet? And I sh I'm said, sure. And I guess it was 2008 or 2009, you know, already 14 years ago uh, that, uh, you know, uh, I took um, the opportunity and uh, to come to uh, to uh, Hanover. And guess what? You were showing innovation again. You know, what was it what you were showing at that time, Oliver? <laughs> that, that's true. It was 3D stereoscopic video streaming, live streaming based on two cameras side by side. That was the days where these new stereoscopic technology evolved. Um, movies like, what was it called from James Cameron? Avatar. Avatar, right coming out mm -hmm. into the cinemas, displays were capable of displaying um, stereoscopic video, etc. So we created a solution around that um, to enable live streaming from stereoscopic cameras. And that was also quite exciting. And decision number one that we all uh, agreed upon, we immediately finish, stop, uh, doing B2C business, business to consumer. Boom, immediately, big cross, never again. So we decided we will do B2B. And the other thing that, you know, really stroked me when, um, you know, we started to work together and in the first months, year that I, uh, you know, was looking over your shoulder along with Nanocosmos was the time it took for a customer to get acquainted, to connect with, and then get the customer into production. I still remember that at those days, it took us a year from the first moment we connected with a customer until a customer was in production. And, you know, we also very early on said, you know, if you want to run a business, this is not the way forward. Absolutely. So being one of the first who created a low latency solution for iPhones was really kind of an enabler for certain use cases. And then in the end, creating the whole live streaming platform, which makes it much easier for our customers to come on board and to create their business applications around live video. That, that was for one of the most important decisions we did to put the technology into the cloud, um, put everything together under a unique platform, a comprehensive platform to make it really easy to use live streaming for interactive use cases. Yeah. 